This is a tribute to Tony Silverman, National Vice Chair, Canadian Race Relations Foundation, National Chair, Commission on Holocaust Education, and Abrith Canada, Advisor, National Task Force on Holocaust Education, Remembrance and Research, and Human Rights Activist. Thank you so, so much. I am purportedly a wordsmith. Uh, yet at this seminal moment, uh, I have no words, and those that I do have are inadequate. This award has particular significance for me because it pays tribute not to a body of work, but to a process of history, and to those significant people in my life who instilled in and taught me the importance of the work and the imperative of the commitment. And it affords me the opportunity to publicly express my gratitude to dear, dear friends and family and colleagues who have over the years surrounded my family and I with a cocoon of love and encouragement. I am truly so fortunate, so grateful, and I owe them a debt that's unrepayable. Each story of each immigrant to this great country is a chronicle of liberation. Each story is fraught with challenges, struggles, hardships, and ultimately, hopefully, the unmitigated joy of a new life based on freedom, democracy, and justice. Our past does not determine who we are, but it plays a vital role in who we are to become. As you saw, I was born in a displaced persons camp in Stuttgart, Germany, a child of Holocaust survivors. It is a mantle of privilege I wear willingly and assume the concomitant responsibilities of living its lessons, to take nothing and no one for granted, to confront bigotry and hatred wherever and whenever it occurs, to engage in the battle for justice and fairness, and to be the voice for those who cannot speak. We as immigrants come to Canada because of a profound hope and a desire to create a better life for ourselves and our families. We each bring a collection of skills, aspirations, and dreams of making our contribution to this country in the best way we can. Mine is just one of hundreds of thousands of families who deeply appreciate the opportunities this country has provided and who in turn pledge to uphold the core values that make Canada so great. We, as agents of change, recognize that the work we do and that remains to be done is often Herculean. My beloved late husband, Sam Filer, and I were blessed with a beautiful, talented, bright, funny, and accomplished wonder of a daughter, Jamie, a constant source of joy and pride, and my husband's finest legacy. It is said that the only things that stand between a person and what he or she wants in life are the will to try it and the faith to believe it's possible. Jamie has both. And if she and her generation are a harbinger, then I have every confidence that our future will be a bright one. This is for you, babe.